Remember, we're professionals. So don't try this at home. Ever. Who are the Mythbusters? Steve Vance and Rick Lacey. And between them, more than 30 years of IT experience. This thing is definitely not working. They don't just tell the biggest technology myths, they put them to the test. Almost every product made today uses some type of magnet to make it work. Credit cards have magnetic strips. VHS tapes have magnetic tape reels. Computers record data via a thin magnetic coating. And most televisions use magnets to produce the image that you see. Today, our Mythbusters are going to answer the age-old question, can a magnet erase your computer's hard drive? So Steve, what do you have for us today? Well, on the internet for years, they've been saying that if you have a really strong magnet, you can use it to wipe off the data from your computer's hard drive. So what you're saying is if you have one magnetic field, like your computer's hard drive, right. and you place another magnetic field next to that hard drive, uh, the, it'll interrupt the data. Right, but let's not do that yet. Because what I was thinking we could do was just take a really big magnet and stick it on the hard drive and see what happens. I would suggest maybe we take a little more of a scientific approach. We take a look at how the hard drive is running without a magnet, and then we take a look at how it would run with a magnet on it, and a couple of variations from there. That sounds good. Sounds pretty scientific. All right, let's head to the workshop and begin. All right, let's go. Okay, what we have here is a very strong bar magnet. It's not the kind of magnet you would take to the bar. It's the shape of the magnet. And I'm going to show you how strong it is. Ow. Now, I can't pull this directly off of the table. No matter how much I struggle, I have to actually slide it off. Now, that's a strong magnet. All right. One thing we had to figure out um, is where is the hard drive on a laptop? Okay. On a desktop computer, you open the thing up, and it's pretty obvious. But on a laptop, it's not. So we did a little research and we found out that, well, this is the hard drive right here. So this is the area on the computer where we're going to have to put the magnet to see if we can get a result. Our Mythbusters will be putting this myth to the test with very scientific experiments. First they will place a super strong magnet directly on the computer's hard drive and then turn the computer on. Next. They will place a magnet on the hard drive while it's running. After each of the first two experiments, they will check the hard drive to see if it lost any data. As you can see, the computer was able to boot up and uh, we've got our typical uh, Microsoft uh, picture back here. So the magnet didn't wipe out the hard drive. In fact, I'd say it didn't do anything at all. So to further test this myth, we're going to put the magnet back on with the hard drive running and even move a few applications around to see if we can eliminate any data on the hard drive. We'll then restart the computer and see if everything boots up normally. Sounds like a plan. You ready? I'm ready. Are you sure? Go ahead. This isn't your mother's laptop, is it? Might be. Sorry, Mom. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be doing anything at all. Let's take a look at the hard drive. Maybe. We put the magnet on here while it was running, and now we can't use the mouse. We can't run any programs. It seems that our magnet has locked up our computer. So hitting F1, Oh, this is crazy. I think, I think we might just have proven this myth. I would have to say that this myth is definitely plausible. Now, 
there is still data on the hard drive, even though it rendered the PC inoperable. If you send this hard drive out, it could be recovered. So the only real way to destroy an entire hard drive to ensure that there's no data left on it is to have a little fun. Oh boy.